Hi, my name is Lee Granger. I'm the founder of Radium Technologies and the developer of Living Cookbook. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn your recipe collection into a professional looking cookbook. Let's start by selecting one of our cookbooks. There are two ways that you can print a cookbook. You can either print directly from Living Cookbook or export the cookbook to Microsoft Word. Let's start by printing directly from Living Cookbook. That's it. Three mouse clicks and we're done. Let's see what we got in return for our three mouse clicks. We have a cover page. We can customize this further with comments, author information, etc. if we want to. We have a table of contents with chapter headings and pagination. Let's see what a recipe looks like. Our recipes have customizable headers and footers, ingredients, images, and procedures, nutrition, source information, and author notes. If you want to, you can customize the order of the recipe elements, fonts, sizes, colors, and underlining to suit your needs. Let's take a look at the index. Living Cookbook automatically indexes all of the recipes in your cookbook. So that's our first publication. We have a cookbook with a cover page, table of contents, beautifully formatted recipes, an index, and automatic pagination with just three mouse clicks. Let's see what else we can do. Let's try creating a booklet publication. A booklet publication is a cookbook printed in landscape mode on both sides of the paper. Once the cookbook is printed, you can stack the pages, fold them, and staple them so you have a cookbook that is 8.5 inches high and 5.5 inches wide. If you want to create a cookbook to give as a gift, perhaps a collection of family favorites, this is the way to go. Let's start by telling Living Cookbook that we want to print a booklet. There's our booklet option. There's our publication. Remember, this publication is going to be folded in half and stapled. That's why we see the cookbook's first page, the cover page, on the right. And the last page of the cookbook, which happens to be blank in this case, on the left. When you print a booklet, Living Cookbook will tell you how many sheets of paper to load into your printer. When the first side of each page has been printed, just put the printed sheets back in the printer and Living Cookbook will print the other side. Let's take a look at the next page of our booklet. Living Cookbook is very clever when it prints booklets. It makes sure that the table of contents, chapter cover pages, and the index all start on odd number pages just like in a professionally printed cookbook. Let's take a look at a recipe. Recipes look just like they did in the standard publication, except they've been formatted to fit on half a page. I mentioned earlier that publication layouts, fonts, sizes, colors, etc. can be customized. This is covered in detail in Living Cookbook's help file. So for now, I will just show you how to make a quick layout change. Let's move the recipe servings such that it appears above the recipe procedure instead of below it. To do that, we just open the publication options. And click the standard layout button. Now we can click the recipe servings element and change its position. Let's take another look at our publication. Let's have a look at a recipe.
As expected, the servings element now appears above the recipe procedure. Now what if you want to add content or formatting to your cookbook that Living Cookbook doesn't support? Not a problem. You can just export the cookbook to Microsoft Word and make the changes in Word. Here's how we do it. We choose a name and location for the Word file. Let's open the Word file and see what it looks like. It looks almost exactly the same as it did in Living Cookbook. Most publishers and printers accept manuscripts in Microsoft Word format, so you could even have your cookbook professionally printed and bound. Many Living Cookbook users have done this to create cookbooks for retail sale or for school or church fundraisers. In this brief video, we have just barely scratched the surface of Living Cookbook's features. I encourage you to view some of the other videos to really get a sense of how powerful and easy to use Living Cookbook is.